Hello everyone! Today we are making a photo engraving of it. So we have our 10 watt DPSS laser installed on our frame with Z axis. And let's see what we have here. So we are engraving on a copper, piece of copper. I put two heavy pieces to make sure that surface is uh, flat otherwise uh, you will miss focus and probably won't be so accurate and uh, yeah the engraving speed is uh, 2000 uh, millimeters per minute and the maximum power for photo engraving is 25% uh, only minimum is zero and I use grayscale format uh, on um, Lightburn. I'm using Lightburn software and uh, let me show you over here the image so and this guy is actually checking he's keep tracking the progress and uh, yeah, I think the uh, image is not big, it's like six uh, centimeters, a little bit, uh, it's like two and quarter inch. And it takes about 15 minutes to, to complete the full picture. I already tried some, uh, made some tests and I must say that you can do it actually faster if you use galvanometer uh, but here 2000 is a maximum speed for particularly this machine because then it's um, you can see some waves and uh, we lose the quality and also on different materials you need different settings for, for example here I uh, tried uh, in, uh, on aluminum and you see that uh, there are some waves and also there was speed of 2000 oh 3000 was 50% uh, faster and you see that uh, we lose some accuracy but here our photo engraving looks good uh, yes I must say that uh, we have a step for each uh, line is 0.1 millimeter but this laser has a laser beam spot of 57 uh, microns, so it's 0 0.5, uh, actually 0 0.05 uh, millimeter. So probably if you want it um, with no uh, spaces between lines, you need to set up uh, 0 0.05 uh, millimeter step so some machines they allow it some don't but uh, like I said the accuracy for uh, machines with belts and without guides probably the maximum especially if you have quite heavy installation so this installation is about um, like half it's about half a kilo for z-axis and also our advanced mount and the uh, laser module itself so it's also quite heavy so I don't just want the best quality we can so it's uh, probably almost uh, ready will take maybe another three minutes to to complete so uh, yeah by the way guys if you have any questions you're welcome to text me plus seven uh, nine one six two two five four three oh two and you can email me gf at enduranceroberts.com i'm always open for your questions comments and feedback and uh, you can find more about endurance 10 watt dpss laser module on our website endurancelasers.com and our online store endurance-lasers.com we also have a lot of information in our facebook community so, uh, but I must say that 10 watt DPSS, not a diode, but DPSS, diode pump laser, is uh, more for professional because it's uh, the price for this unit is, is 
more than for diode, but it's a very, very complicated system. And it requires a lot of skills and knowledge to build. By the way, right now we're working on 75 watt DPSS and we plan, we hope that we'll be able to cut some metal. By the way, with this laser I cut a thin aluminum, like this. So you can also cut, I think it's like 0 0.2 millimeters, maybe made it's 0 0.3, so it's quite, uh, quite thin. But with uh, multi-passes you can cut up to 0 0.5 millimeters of uh, steel and uh, copper, brass, uh, stainless steel, aluminum, so you can do all kind of uh, laser engraving and thin laser cutting. So I think our Pennywise is almost uh, ready. Let me check the status on the computer. It's 97%. So I think not bad for 15 uh, minutes. Laser engraving. I'll make some pictures and uh, show them with public. We will share it with public. Looks good. I just want to remove it and show you the final result. So you'll be the first to see Pennywise a laser engraved on a piece of copper. It's actually a copper plate. Okay, we are ready. Let's remove it. Let's see. Ah, I like it. I like it. Yeah, thank you, Stephen King, for writing a horror about an ugly clown. <laughs> Talk to you guys. Bye.